Yes, as you guys can see, I am back on this channel. I am officially back. I'm ready to break the silence. I am officially back on the grind. Just not for this game, though. But who hasn't it been a while since I posted on here? But listen, before we start the video, you guys know the drill. If this is your first time watching my channel since my last upload, please hit the subscribe button, bro. Hit the subscribe button. Turn on the notifications so you will never miss a single video once I upload and like the video if you are enjoying this video already. It's the first 30 plus seconds in. You know the drill. Now off the gate, I know what you're thinking. Bro, Philo, you were so consistent earlier this year. What happened? You haven't been uploading that much. You fell off. You fell off. You fell off. Listen, I've been taking a break and I took a good one, okay? I was so focused on my personal life to a certain point where YouTube was somewhat a distraction in my opinion. So therefore, I couldn't really focus on everything else that I've got going on. So therefore, I decided why not take a break from YouTube for a while. But I'm back now for this time and this time only, just once. But if you guys do want more videos, always please let me know down below in the comment section if you guys want more videos as of right now. Like I said, I've been taking a big break and I haven't really focused on any videos, nor 2K, thankfully. But here I am now. I'm going to explain to you why I quit playing NBA 2K22. Now, this is the full explanation. Now, if you guys haven't watched my last video, which I posted a month ago, I screen recorded, yes, I recorded me deleting both versions of the game on my phone it looked trash i don't even want to show you the clip but this video however is it this is it this is the full explanation to why i quit nba 2k22 for good however there is another reason behind that in which you guys will see later on in the video so stay tuned to that do not skip it just watch the whole video through the real reason why i quit this game it's because the game doesn't feel the same. It just doesn't feel the same. Every time I play the game, it becomes different. It is no longer good as it once was. Now we all know the game came out at first on September the 10th of 2021, right? A couple of months ago, a while back. However, seven months later, 31 weeks and 220 days later, the game started to become trash. We all see why. It's not even a question. I don't care what nobody says. Because as soon as the game came out, we saw brand new features. It was like a breath of fresh new air, right? And for some odd reason, we saw new features that we haven't seen in the last couple of games. They gave us something new and consistent. They give us the season rewards, a brand new rep system. They give us a brand new park. They give us all types of stuff, right? Brand new clothes, everything. However, a couple of months later, like I said, the game became inconsistent to a point where like every season, the game starts to feel different. But still though, not in the best way possible. Now, I've been through the same phase over and over after every past 2K to ever come out for the last couple of years. Now, let me say this from my perspective, okay? In my personal opinion, from the amount of hours I've put into this one specific game, the game has gone completely trash, first of all. The game has gone so boring. The game has gone so inconsistent, I must say. It's just, I just couldn't have as much fun anymore, okay? It's not the same game, it just doesn't feel the same it doesn't look the same nor does it play the same okay every other player on this game has to do the left and right cheese behind the back cheesy dribble moves to stuff curry over right cheese it's just the game has become so repetitive bro like 2k can't make a good quality game for once so that way those that play the game that spent their hard earned 60 to 70 dollars can have fun right i for some reason so happy to be one of those players that barely even pre-order the game on a year by year basis but for some reason I myself barely even pre-order because I don't feel like spending that much money, fam. Like, let's be completely honest. Is this game really worth all your money? Like, I hope you answer that in the comment section because if not, I agree. Because it really isn't. That's why. <clears throat> Back to this topic, okay? Now, what you see on the screen was my last time playing Park, which it will be my final time playing park on this game because for some reason the park has officially gone too tiring okay now i can imagine someone playing this game around 24 7 365 grinding for a reward that really doesn't matter much than our lives okay and i'm just gonna be the one to put that out right now okay if you are grinding right now on nba 2k while watching this video 
or if you guys just don't care at all and you still want to join either way good good for you however i think it's important that if you will listen to me because everybody has its own stereotype nba 2k is a place full of stereotypical players that just do the same thing one person sees it the other person copies their moves they want to copy the left to right cheese they want to copy the real player percentage every time you make a shot it goes in guarantee all net all switch no backboard i guarantee you every player nearly the entire community on nba 2k22 plays the same and feels the same and i bet some of them even talk the same everybody is barely different they're all no different myself included okay now i might not be the one to talk as much trash unlike everybody else in this community but still i try to focus on more on teamwork because not only do I want to score the ball, I want everybody to eat. The whole team has got to eat in order to get this dub, to secure the bag. You guys keep focusing more on passing it back to one person and then they always try to do some ISO combo ups and just trying to make a shot or trying to rim run to the paint. I know what it's like. I've been seeing that before. I, I witnessed it multiple times. Now you see why NBA 2K22 is completely repetitive. Gameplay wise, and everything else wise because of that right there now like i said before i'm gonna go ahead and break my own silence i'm gonna be one of the few to be the voice of the voiceless for this entire situation because there are some people in this community that would rather talk about this type of stuff but there are other people in this community that just don't care and i'm one of the few people to actually care but hold on we're not done listen I'm about to make 2K look real stupid right now. Listen to this. This is another reason why I quit this game because of what the game has turned into, okay? And to start off with the amount of content, no, scratch that, the type of content 2K has put into this game, okay? For example, the level 40 rewards. While not all of them were completely trash in my opinion, the only two of them that I liked the most were probably the tiger and the goat cart to begin with. But other rewards from the Christmas animated clothing to the bunny suit that we had this season, those rewards words are complete garbage even though nba 2k always normally try to express their creativity by putting in these fun rewards just so 2k22 can have a fun side towards the game but that doesn't change the fact that this is called a basketball simulation game and when it comes to simulation it has to have realism and these rewards aren't a part of that realism whatsoever because they are trash while some of these rewards could look cool but in reality behind the shadows these rewards especially the bunny suit can make us look real stupid another example to point to proof there are so many glitches in this game that everyone wants to hop on the glitchy wave and start these glitches that doesn't really do much to the game besides making it worse another example being the level rewards okay other level rewards besides level 40 has also became trash they're not that good either another thing being 2k has so much time promoting all this my team stuff but for whatever reason they wouldn't have that much time to put another patch note in because between february and march earlier this year they barely put another patch ever since then and that's why the game has become inconsistent because of that they don't patch the game enough to keep the game fresh the 2k community is so split right now one side is current gen the other side is next gen like why can't 2k just reunite this entire community by putting them back into one global species or something like every time where there's one side debating which version is better against the other side of the community it's just like a whole election between both sides of 2k repping for each version of the game it just don't make sense the game modes my career will forever be trash because not only that the game sucks but at the same time their story or cutscenes or whatever they just couldn't get a complete brand new storyline they just couldn't get something fresh but rather something uninspiring and so random following the trends all of this and that it's not it's not worth it same thing with my team microtransactions are always a favor the my league mode especially to when it comes to modding some custom courts that mode belongs to the pc community no cap and those are like the extra problems that make the game completely worse the gameplay is super stiff its players are so repetitive they are no longer different they aren't as different they don't play different the modes are so uninspiring, my career is so trash, my career storyline is also trash, the level 40 rewards are also bare bones, it's just everything about this game is no longer the same as it once was. 2k is starting to fall down, fall off, go down bad, whatever, it's just... 2k22 is officially garbage and we all know it and that right there is why i left this game nba 2k22 is not the same however i might not have been gone too deep into these topics but you guys should at least understand how i feel deep down 
Anyways guys, let me know down below in the comment section, how do you guys feel about this game? Is 2K22 starting to fall off? Do you it never miss an upload? Now then, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like on this video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, I recommend you guys do that. Turn on those post notifications. Also, I'll try to do another video or two later on this week or next week or so. I'm gonna do a way to make this video on NBA 2K22. I'm gonna do a way to make this video on another video after that. I'm not sure, but stay tuned for that. It's a boy file. I heard the content at the whole market. Hit that like button. I'm not the only one.